North Korea has warned that a nuclear war may break out any moment on the Korean peninsula. The comment was attributed to the country's deputy UN ambassador, Kim Min Ryong. He was quoted as having said these are the UN General Assembly's disarmament committee. The diplomat said America's direct nuclear threat gives Pyongyang the right to possess nuclear weapons in self-defense. He also pointed out that America had plans to stage secret operations targeting North Korea's top leadership and that the entire U.S. mainland was within his country's firing range. The comment came even as the European Union imposed fresh sanctions on the country and banned the sale of oil and oil products to North Korea. European Union's foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini said that the 22-member bloc also decided to impose a blanket ban on doing business with North Korea in sanctions that go beyond the latest United Nations measures. A decision uh, to uh, not to renew work authorizations for DPRK nationals, obviously in line and uh, in uh, consistency with national laws. We also added uh, uh, three persons and six entities uh, supporting illicit programs to the list of those subject to asset freeze and travel restrictions on top of uh, persons and entities that are already listed uh, in uh, um, compliance with the UN Security Council uh, sanctions. This for us is aimed at opening that political space for negotiations that currently we do not see. Uh, we know uh, out of experience that economic and diplomatic pressure can open space for diplomatic um, negotiations. Meanwhile, in the latest U-turn in U.S. stand, the Trump administration is now indicating that it is not opposed to direct talks with Pyongyang. Ahead of a planned visit to South Korea, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State John J. Sullivan said that his country is amenable to a direct dialogue with the North Korean regime. His comment came even as U.S. President Donald Trump is scheduled to visit the region the next month. Reports say Trump may visit the demilitarized zone along the South Korea border with the North when he will travel to South Korea.